Hello everyone, it's Dr. Kathy Dooley of Immaculate Dissection. You may have read that I'm doing a push-up challenge this year. Whatever day of the year it is, I have to do that many push-ups. And the point of doing this was to inspire others to really validate the use of push-ups in their own workouts, but mostly it was selfish. <laughs> I wanted to be able to understand the push-up better so I could coach and teach it better. One of the things I see as far as flaws in the push-up is a lot of people do it from their knees and they never evolve into doing it anywhere else than from their knees. Let me demonstrate. A push-up that's done from the knees, people will usually lift their feet up and they'll put their feet completely off the ground and they'll put themselves into a position where they're mostly relying on their upper body to do the push-up. And there's nothing wrong with that. It just doesn't usually allow you to evolve past doing it from here. It also makes the push-up less of a compound exercise where you're using a lot of body parts into a little bit less of a compound exercise. Let me explain. If you do a full push-up, a full push-up done from here, you're using the entire body and then coming back up with the whole body. So you have to use the entire body from foot all the way to hands and head to be involved in the push-up. If you take the feet off the ground, you're losing some of the things that can help activate the lower limb to help you through the push-up. So your foot is innervated by the sural nerve for sensation here, superficial and deep fibular nerve from the common fibular division of the sciatic nerve, saphenous nerve, a branch off femoral, and then tibial, a branch off the sciatic nerve. And those are wired to give you proprioception that helps you to engage all of this lower extremity and if you take it out, you're gonna be missing some of the things that can actually help you build more compound strength. Again, there's nothing wrong with doing the push-up from the knees, it just might have its limitations. In my 15 years of clinical practice, I haven't heard patients tell me they've evolved from going from the knees into a regular push-up. And I think that's just the limitation that it provides. So nothing against it, but you may want to evolve into possibly changing it to a full body exercise and just giving an elevation to it. So using a coffee table or a chair, what you can do is, this is just a, a row platform, and you can put your hands to where you can really get the tripods of stability, this little triangle in your hand to push down into something, and you can push through your feet as you've seen in um, our previous push-up videos. So as you get into this position, you can now learn to use your whole body for power from an elevated surface. Don't let anybody ever make you feel bad about doing a push-up from an elevated surface. And then you can start to inch this down towards the ground as you build more strength. Don't feel bad about not being able to do a push-up as I demonstrated from the floor yet, but don't do it just from the knees and expect that that will gain you a push-up from the floor using your lower body. We have tons of push-up tips. They're going to be displayed on Immaculate Dissection's Instagram here for the entire year. <laughs> this is only day 12 out of 365. So please stay tuned for more and more push-up help. We hope that you'll join us in the challenge. Enjoy.